I'm Oliver. We've been lucky enough to travel all over the world. And now, it's time to bring you on the journey with us. Fantastic Friends. Broadcast premiere July 18th at 9. Good morning, I'm Annie Rose Ramos. Overnight evacuations after 12 homes were damaged and red tagged due to a landslide like this one you see behind me. Coming up, how many people have been displaced and the damage this landslide has done so far? Also right now at 9, tipping tantrum. A DoorDash driver loses his cool over his tip for pizza delivery. Wait until you see how much it was and do you agree? And coffee conspiracy? You may need that first cup of joe to get going, but is that job a jolt all in your head? We'll tell you about the battle brewing. And a lot of us waking up to cloud coverage this morning, but it won't last. We are going to see sunny skies once again. Details on the forecast, which includes a heat wave coming up. Singer, songwriter, actress Vonda Shepard here to not only talk about her new album, also give us a private performance. That's coming up in entertainment. Good morning and welcome to the KTLA Weekend Morning News at 9 o'clock. I'm Lauren Lister. And I'm Pedro Rivera. Thank you for joining us. We've been so lucky. We've gotten great musical talents in studio. Oh my gosh, it's been incredible. Yeah, we've... Uh, it continues to be incredible. We've and you get coming up this hour. You get to work with me. I get to yes. work with Stacey. How's, how's your uh, your voice? You know, that, what is it? I'm drinking the Manuka honey. I can't even... Manuka, Manuka honey. honey. Manuka. I, I mean, it feels like it's working, though. The thing is, it doesn't hurt. It's just straining to talk. So as soon as we're done here today, I'm just going to zip it for the yep, rest of the day. There you go. Um, Pedro's like, yeah. <laughs> uh, outside from our Long Beach camera, we see cloud coverage, and we do for most of our coastal spots. But over the next few hours, we'll see sunshine returning. Mid-60s in Long Beach, Santa Ana, low 60s in Burbank, and it's already 81 in Lancaster. Highs expected for this afternoon, 107 for Palm Springs, 87 for Ontario, 77 degrees today for Long Beach, and 89 in Santa Clarita. Coming up, we're going to talk about this heat wave because it is going to last a long time this week. Back to you. Casey, thank you. Our top story this morning all lies on a local hillside after a large landslide in Rolling Hills Estates. Unstable ground and large cracks forcing the evacuation of 12 homes. KTLA's Annie Rose Ramos is live along Pear Tree Lane with more on the threat of even more shifting. And Annie Rose, you've been talking to slouched in. It is completely shifted off of its foundation. This is one of a dozen homes. And Lauren and Pedro, just in the past couple of hours, we've seen people who live here come in with suitcases, filling them with their precious items, their clothing, their frames, their bikes, and then bringing them out because they just don't know if these houses are going to go at any moment. Every few minutes, you can hear these homes popping, making noises as they continue to shift, and it's coming from all of down, up and down this street. The firefighters, you can't see them now, but they are walking in. They're going from home to home. They say the water is being cut off, the gas is being cut off because they don't know if if as these homes continue to shift, there could be fires caused from this. They say in addition to the water being shut off and the gas being shut off and the power being shut off, that the homes that are located in and around these dozens that have been dozen that have been red tagged will no longer be able to access water and any of those utilities. So the people who have decided to stay, they're going to have to bring in water for them if they don't want to evacuate. Now, People who live in this area say they are going to just load up their cars with a few as necessities just in case this damage spreads to the other homes on this street. And rem again, remember, 12 homes, red tagged, 16 people displaced, but we don't know if this is going to be the extent of this damage. All of this starting yesterday at around 4 p.m. Now, I want to go to some images that we have from overnight because that is when this issue really started to escalate. Firefighters were called here yesterday afternoon to assess damage to one home. That is when they realized they had a bigger issue on their hands, that 12 homes were impacted by this landslide threatening their stability. Most of these homes located along a canyon. Again, 16 residents were evacuated and are being assisted by the Red Cross. But the concern here by this entire community is that this damage doesn't spread to other homes. Take a listen to one neighbor who lives right across the street. We were just surprised. It's it's unusual for this neighborhood to see all the fire department personnel mobilized out here, um, all the heavy rescue equipment, and um, yeah, it was surprising. 
We haven't heard anything yet. I think uh, what we've heard is just that the fire department and rescue personnel are very focused on these homes. Uh, we're across the street, so we haven't heard anything pertaining to our home yet. Um, and at the moment, we're just concerned about these homeowners and their homes and hoping that they're okay. And Janice Hahn, chair of the L.A. County Board of Supervisors, was on the scene meeting with residents late last night, right around midnight, posting these images to social media, where you can see her surveying some of that damage. She wrote, quote, the earth moved so dramatically that multiple homes were visibly leaning. Everyone is safe, and deputies will patrol the street to secure the evacuated homes. Back here live, we know geologists are here on the scene as this house continues to make that noise, continues to crack, continues to shift. The residents here tell me that it wasn't even this bad last night. So we know that in the overnight hours, the situation only got worse. In the meantime, six people, 16 people displaced. And as of this morning, 12 of those homes red tagged. But again, Lauren and Pedro, we don't know if this landslide is going to do more damage to more of this community. Reporting live, I'll send it back to you both in Hollywood. Yeah, we'll keep watching that. Annie Rose, thank you. Breaking news now in Beverly Grove. Police are investigating a deadly shooting. Shots first rang out this morning around 4 a.m. near the corner of 3rd Street in Orlando. One man was killed, two others hospitalized. The gunman still on the run. Information is limited so far, but officers are still on scene searching for clues. We'll bring you more details as they come into the newsroom. And new developments following the small plane crash that killed six people in Murrieta yesterday. The Riverside County Sheriff's Department now identifying the six adults who were on board when the plane went down. They include pilots Reese Lenders and Manny Vargas. The FAA says the Cessna business jet crashed 500 feet short of the runway in low visibility. This is the second fatal crash near French Valley Airport in just the last week. In Texas, a door dasher fired for cursing out a customer on video, but it's why that'll certainly raise some eyebrows here. So after the driver handed her a pizza, he starts complaining, saying, quote, this house is too big for a $5 tip. The customer jokingly says, you're welcome. That's when the dasher starts yelling and then cursing her out. The woman posted the video on TikTok, and she says she tipped him 25% on a $20 pizza. So what do you think? Uh, I don't really get it. He gave her, she paid five, you know, 20%. Yeah, that's 20, good. Yeah, it was, she, she so was So what's fine. the problem? He, he saw the house and said, you live in a, too big of a house. I, like, I deserve a bigger tip. When he dropped off the pizza, he saw where she lived and said, You're, this house is too big for just a $5 tip, even though the, it was a 20% tip on her bill. Mm. I was she reading know, the story. She trying, doesn't know anyone I'm, nothing. It's her money. She could spend it how she wants. You got 20% and be happy with it. Well, and like if tipping customs are what they are, then 20% is the standard. It's the standard. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. All right. A new study revealing how much money Americans feel they need to earn to be financially secure and how much it would take to feel rich. According to a survey by Bankrate, more than 2,500 U.S. adults said they would need to earn, on average, $233,000 a year to feel financially secure. Meantime, those surveyed said it would take $483,000 annually to feel rich. Just for comparison, the median earnings for a full-time year-round worker in 2021 was $56,000. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's also depends on where you live. Completely. All that, all that stuff. Yeah. In L.A., though, I feel like, I don't know. You feel like you need a lot of money. Yeah, unfortunately, you do. Unfortunately, here. you do. Okay, it is Sunday fun day. Yeah, Let's, like, not think about these serious topics and let's just enjoy ourselves, right? Why not take a trip to the South Bay and watch the top volleyball players in the world compete? The AVP Pro Beach Volleyball Tour is wrapping up its annual two-day tournament with a full slate. Guys. Ben Dolehauser.